Hi guys, back with me and today we're gonna talk about flipped. Um, if any of you don't know what Flip is, well, Flip is a 2010 American romantic comedy drama film co-written and directed by Rob Rainer and based on Wendelin Van Dranen's 2001 novel of the same name. Starring Callan McAuliffe, Madeline Carroll, Rebecca De Mornay, Anthony Edwards, John Mahoney, Penelope and Miller, Aidan Quinn, and Kevin Wiseman, the film tells the story of two 8th graders who start to have feelings for each other despite being total opposite. Flip was released in theaters in the United States on August 6, 2010 by Warner Bros. Pictures. It garnered mixed reviews from critics and was a box office bomb, grossing $4.3 million, again a $14 million budget. So box office bomb meaning um, a box office movie that is kind of like unprofitable. So in this case, it's losing $10 million from its budget. Please note that this video might contain spoilers, so if any of you haven't watched this, please don't continue. Or if you're okay with any spoilers, please go on. I just watched a few days ago, I think two days ago on Netflix, because you know when Netflix shows these previews of what's coming on their platform, I watched the preview and I, was, I thought that was cute. So I saved it for later and one it arrived, I watched it. And I didn't regret a single thing because it was cute and good and you know, that's just about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, spoilers coming. <laughs> it started up with um, Bryce's family, or the lost kids, moved to a new town. And there, Julie saw Bryce for the first time through the fan. And I think that's what what's called first love and there's like a monkey love or cinta in Indonesia. Um, yeah, I guess so. Start from there, the story began. It has two two kind of like perspectives views. So we get views uh, of perspectives from Julie, the female protagonist, and also Bryce. It's a teen romance movie that actually is fit for teens and played by real teens so it's all teens, teens you can watch with your sister or brother and whatever that you know, it's safe for teens it's safe for kids also I guess there's no rated scene so it's safe for everyone really so I recommend you to watch it if you need some movie that is light but also cute and you know it's not heavy and it the background is for from 50 so bringing you back to the old days because uh, yeah it's setting us uh, in 1950s if I'm not mistaken um, there are some th uh, things that are worth noted that I really want to talk about and want to know from this movie so the first thing that worth noted is Bryce um, good growth and personality I really plus that because he was not a bad kid in the first place but just the way he matures in thinking and action is really plus uh, I think they are worth plus and there are some things that I really think that oh he really um, you know has some growth in him uh, and the next one is about Uncle Daniel um, Daniel is the uncle of Julie um, his dad's brother that has um, you know some kind of like um, mental that have some illness and um, one time she comes with her dad to um, you know visit Daniel for his birthday and that's when Julie's first encounter with, uh, with her uncle and it was heartwarming the way he finally sees him for the first time and learns about him. So when they come home, she feels like it's not Daniel is just not a name anymore, but it, it really feels of like one of her family members, and it's really heartwarming how he knows about what's what's with her uncle and so on. And she's not afraid of that. She's she's embracing about it. She's embracing him. As in he, she, she doesn't have any grudges against her, against him whatsoever. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so bad with pronouns. I mean, and I really like that, um, and which is 
which will lead to the next points later. And it also uh, relates to um, Bryce Goodcroft personally that I noted before that when uh, she, he trying to confront his feelings that he doesn't have any feelings about Julie and he uh, consulted to his friend Garrett. Uh, Garrett says uh, kind of like inappropriate things about him, about her. Um, Bryce feels like punching him, kind of. So he knows that it's not a good thing to do, but well, I don't know. Well, the thing is a kid thing. He doesn't want to. He find he trying to find excuses when Julie confronts him back. So yeah. And I really appreciate how Uncle Daniel is in, in this scene because for this movie it kind of like lights up that we have people like this in real life and we we have to embrace them instead of like mocking them or um, discriminating them or th throwing hate and everything. So it's nice to see this scene and this story melt in this, this movie. Okay, the next thing is Bryce that um, if you already watched the movie you know that he is such an <coughs> when Julie gives um, Lost Kiss the axe they discuss it in their dining room and his dad kind of you know he's just being rude why does he talk like that and um, when the Lost Kiss when the um, Beckers have done together with them and the way he he responds and everything is just it's just not welcoming. It's it's not good. I mean, it's a bad attitude. Come on now. It's not a good attitude and, and I love how later on I'm happy that his sister says it uh, to his face directly that um, you are an <coughs> and I give props to that. Like you really did it sis because I I just can't. His dad is so rude. I, I mean, someone's gotta do that. Someone's gotta say it to his face directly. And yeah, and props to Bryce's sister. Honestly, um, you're so. Was a really. That's when I like feels like standing ovation. Like, finally, finally. So yeah. And also uh, some fun fact. It's not fun fact, but if you notice. Bryce actually knows it, notices it too. Like when he internally says that Garrett is second B and his dad is as being rude. So he notices that these two people are rude people. They they're just being mean. They they just he literally says internally when he talks to himself that Garrett is second behind his dad or his dad is second behind Garrett. I don't know, but they are just just they're just mean. Also, be true to your feelings. Um, Bryce didn't do what he actually has in his head most of the time that we see in the movie and like saying oh instead of punching Garrett and um, when he says Julie is R word because her uncle is you know it's rude and um, free not fall from the tree and so on so he most of, he oh and also when he when he has dined with his family and about the acts he actually has something about his in his, uh, he wants to say something in his head but he doesn't do it so um, yeah you gotta be true to your feelings you know and when he feels like there's something special about Julie like he notices he's staring at her and everything but he just doesn't want to admit it so yeah be true to your feelings. And I love the movie, but uh, I love how the movie has two free perspectives. So we can see from their own perspectives, of course. Um, for example, when Bryce got scared the first time, uh, Julie grabbed his hand. Um, but when we have perspective from Julie, uh, she thought that he being shy, he's just being shy and <laughs> avoided avoid her because he has red hat and avoid her from the back of his mom but yeah we can see how different their perspectives I mean to see that like it's funny like you know in real life too we have two different perspectives from each other so it's nice to see that and also when Bryce got embarrassed the first time he goes to school and Julie impresses him the first day um, he he's embarrassed in, in Bryce 
uh, perspective, he is embarrassed, but in Julie's perspective, she just tries to help him in school because he's shy, which is not the case. He's just embarrassed because he, she does that, but yeah, <laughs> that's uh, from two fields perspective, so we can see. Um, the next one that I want to note is that when they actually what the romance kind of grow even though it's not really visible. Um, when we see from the price perspective about my Julie, um, my Julie, when he sees her sitting uh, in with um, Eddie Trulock, and when he's eating with uh, the hottest girl in the school, and he nods my Julie. I think everyone also has kind of like butterflies in their stomach because I. <laughs> I did and it, it was cute like finally and he trying to, trying to kiss her but with no luck so yeah I think that's what I want to know about if um, overall this is a really cute teen movie I really suggest you to watch it if you want like if you want any more recommendations and I'm actually really open to to any movies but like this too uh, recommendations like flipped i'm really open please drop them below in the comments if you have any i'm really open to watch it and in conclusion it is a good movie recommended i think if i want to give scores i think it's uh, 9.5 to 10 per 10 i don't why i don't give 0 for 5 but i really enjoyed this movie i really loved it also we need sequel we need sequel like it's already 10 years after the movie uh, almost 11 years because already 2021 to 2021 um also, for your information, they have a 10 years reunion video. Um, I will drop the YouTube link below um, from the author's um, YouTube link. It, it was cute. Let's see, they, they grew up and talk about this movie too. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time and bye. Peace out.